Navigating through the energies of New Earth is not an easy process and can become extremely overwhelming at times. As we all ascend into higher frequencies, we're all being guided to embrace our own unique divine pathway, a pathway created in the vibration of love. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within and understand the message being shared even greater. When you live in the frequency of love, there is no competition, so Carrie will be joined regularly by fellow soul family members who will bring forth wisdom and knowledge she knows should be shared on a global level. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners to see what message Spirit wants to share with all those listening in for the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, come and join us now on Vibe Nation Radio, here on the IOM Radio Network. Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome to Vibe Nation Radio. I want to say welcome back to all of those who join me every week. I feel very blessed that you found your way. And for those that are new this week, hello and welcome. So this week I have a very interesting topic. I have brought on a dear soul sister who is also um, a psychic medium and intuitive coach. Her name is Joy Wynn Clayton. Joy Wynn, are you here, my dear? I am. Thanks for having me, Carrie. Thank you for joining me. And today we're going to be talking about the cell rejuvenation process that the twin flames are currently going through. And it's really interesting. I just want to share the, share the story about how Joy Wen ended up on the show today because I think it's very interesting how our soul family works. Joy Wen's been following the Vibe Report since the inception, correct, my dear? That's right, yeah. Okay, so since October 2014. And over these past uh, almost two years, I have seen Joy Wynn, like, just flourish <laughs> into this brand new woman, and she's now one of the Tweediums in our family, which is a twin who's tapped into her mediumship. And she was getting one of our soul family members, Bradley, who's in spirit, who kind of messes with a lot of us, and he kept saying, you know, you need to reach out, you need to reach out. Then my dad got involved, and she reached out, and she's like, they're telling me I have to be on the radio show, and I'm like, that's funny, because I'm just working on the show for the next couple of weeks, and I... I was told that it was going to be certain family members, and of course, she reached out. So I knew she was the one that was on, going to be on the show today. So how cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> you got to love how our soul family works. And if you're new to this, just know that we are all equal in this soul family. It's just some of us remember a lot more than others. And that's what the Vibe Report is for. It's to help you navigate what you're going to be experiencing and how to get through these crazy new energies that we're going through. And everyone has their own unique journey, and we have common denominators, but what we go through in general is very different, and it's because we need to experience this differently so that when we start to work with the collective, you know, we've all got it covered going on. If everybody experienced it the same way, we wouldn't be able to help because there's not, you know, for 7 billion plus twin, uh, 7 plus billion people on the planet, there's very few twins to actually help shift and clear up the the lower vibrations that we're here to actually do. We're here to transmute the lower vibrations and break the 3D soul contracts and the darkness that's physically in Gaia right now that's actually exploding, as you can all. I'm sure, Joy, when you're feeling it at your end as well, this darkness that's circling Gaia, but we're here to, to light it up. That's what we're here to do. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. It's the, the, like a heavy fog that seems to be clouding everyone's mindset but there's little bright light bursting through and you know we're going to we're going to get there <laughs> we're going to get through it <laughs> and i've been speaking about this for quite some time because we've been doing a lot of shows on twin flames and it's just because i'm being guided to do that because right now we are in such a critical time for the twin flames and it started on the solstice back in june but we're now in a week where we're going through the cell rejuvenation process and what this is is that it's energy work that's being done at a DNA level within all twins. And what Spirit told me was that the feminine energy was going to be in control all week. However, today, Monday, the masculine 
is going to be able to tap into that feminine energy and really start to step into their power. And when I mean masculine energy and feminine energy, it does not mean that you are uh, a female and you are the feminine energy. I know many, many, many female twins that hold the masculine energy. So, you know, it's, it's where you're on your journey and who plays what energy. But remember that with uh, the twins, one is a masculine energy and one is a feminine energy, but you have to balance the masculine and the feminine within that energy. Correct? Joy yeah. one? Yeah, no, it very much so. It's uh it truly is just a journey back into yourself and finding that balance. It's not about balancing with your twin first. You have to balance within yourself before you can take that next step. Absolutely. And this cell rejuvenation process is allowing us to truly get in and tune with who we truly are at a soul level because We've been going flip-flopping back and forth for a couple of weeks now where the masculine and feminine have been flipping back and forth. And it's to help one another to get used to one another's energy so that when we went through this cell rejuvenation process we're going through now, it'd be a lot easier to be able to live in your 3D reality. It wasn't like they just turned around and threw us through it and said, deal with this. You know, when we work with the Vibe Report, it's like right now we're in a cocoon stage. We're still... We are tapping into the 5D matrix energy, but it's like we're cocooned, so we're still really in incubation period, and this incubation period is going to end on the 31st of this month. So Mm -hmm. that's one thing I love about the Vibe Report is that, you know, they don't just throw us into something. They prepare us before they actually burst the bubble. (laughs) Oh, no, they totally do. I felt, I mean, I found that my entire journey, but especially since, you know, tapping into the Vibe Report, it's been so much, I can see them nudging me, okay, you need to learn this, here we go, we're with you, and then they sort of let me go a little bit on my own, fall over, and then, yeah, the whole process, they're guiding us and preparing us. Yeah, and I might be the channel, my friends, but believe me, I have to, like, listen and watch the videos myself, because I am a channel, so I'm not going to remember everything that comes out of my mouth, and again, I have to learn my lessons just like everyone else and go through this process so I don't want anybody to think that Carrie's sitting back here and eating bonbons and watching everybody else go through this because I'm going through this too (laughs) and one thing I found Joy Wen is that I just want to step back a bit before we go into commercial break and really get into this but last week on the 15th on the Friday we had a drop zone in the vibe report Mm -hmm. and I found that this this drop zone was very simple to maneuver through As long as when the boys came out, you had a battle to choose. It's like, how am I going to feed this? You made your choice. But if you did it in the vibration of love, it's like the universe threw you like a little prezi a couple of minutes later. Mm -hmm. It was very cool. (laughs) Did you find that? I did so much so. And um, I, I always find for me little tricks like, yes, I see that you're trying to bug me, but I choose love. And I, you know, I just flip it immediately. And then you know, there'd be a great laugh, there'd be a joke, someone would give me a flower, like just happen. Because it's tough enough being a twin and what we go through on an energetic level that you want to say, oh, your ego's coming out again. We want to say, hey, the boys are back. So you can laugh about it (laughs) and say, yep, they got the best of me again. (laughs) (laughs) I find it's almost, it was almost like this long process of developing a friendship with them. You know, initially it was like, I don't like you. You make me really upset. I'm ignoring you. And then it slowly, I don't want to say they won me over, but it was more like, oh, I see what being friends with you, how it benefits me. And now I can be like, all right, you're trying to show me something. I accept that, but, you know, go off with you. I've got other stuff to do right now. And that was sort of how it flowed for me, being able to get to this place of, I acknowledge you, but I'm choosing yeah. other friends. <laughs> and again, I just those that are listening, this is a process. I, believe me, Joy Wynn and Carrie did not conquer the boys overnight. <laughs> <laughs> we're not like dragon slayers that came in and were able to like bring them down. It's it's a process. It takes time. I've been on my twin journey for eight years. So, you know, Joy Wynn, how long have you been on the journey? That's four years. Okay. So, you know, Joy Wynn and I have got a little bit of experience. We've been walking in these shoes for quite some time. So do you know that the boys are there. They're your friends. When you become friends with them, you always need ego, my friends. But if you want to be able to balance the ego with the light. So one thing that's really evident right now is that when the boys come out to play, the S and S Soul Sisters are right there to sprinkle their magic right in front of your face, which is signs and synchronicities if you're new to this lingo. So, and it's getting to the point that the signs aren't even coming; they're coming from other people. It's coming out of people's mouths. 
Yeah. You open up an email and they just say something to you that you just said to someone else. And this is showing how connected the soul family is. And with everyone's abilities, their psychic abilities kicking into mediumship, you know, it's the energy of the family. Our soul family works on a soul level. So even though you're working hard, working hard, working hard, working hard, there might be someone in the family that's not having a good day. So what happens is the soul family energy actually balances everyone out. So we're not all happy-go-lucky all moments of the day, but moments we are, it's because someone else in the soul family needs us to pull them up. And because we've created a community, we know this actually does work because we all communicate with one another. Right, Joanne? Yes, yeah. And it's been a a huge blessing for me this year because there were some more challenges on my journey this year. Yeah. You know, to have, um, you know, just, you know, my sisters, my brothers there, and I can reach out and spaz if I need to, or I can just reach out and be like, I don't have anything to say, but I need some. <laughs> I need some love and friendship, right? And yeah. It's Share the move. Share the move. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all over the world. That's one beautiful thing about our, our soul family. We are located all over the world. So there's mm-hmm. always somebody up when you're looking for help. Yeah. Which is awesome. So I know that we're about to go to commercial break. So when we get back, I want to talk a little bit more about the masculine energy and how it is taking over this week and how the love cluster is going to kick in right after the boys come out to play. All right. We'll be right back. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. The truth is, you can't change the world if you're broke. I know, I've tried. Isn't it time you turned your life's calling into a profitable, freedom-based business? I'm Michelle Barr. Join me every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern for Sacred Success. How to be a great dad in 15 seconds. Bike ride, go fish, walk in the park, phone call, milkshake, play catch, picnic, fly a kite, tell jokes, laugh. Talk, read a story, tell a story, bumper car, swing set, bowling, pillow fight, cut loose, stay tight. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where today my special guest is Joy Wayne Clayton, and she's a a psychic meaning and intuitive coach, and she is also a dear soul sister. Joy Wayne, can you tell our our listeners where they can find you, my dear? Absolutely. I am on Facebook under Joyful Joy Wayne, and I have a website, which is Mm joyfuljoywin.com, and so either of those have my email address, and they can just get in touch with me through there or follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So. And you can also find her under Vibe Nation Radio on my website, com as well. So so before we went to commercial break, we were talking about this energy that we are dealing with right now, where this week we're going through a cell rejuvenation process. And what's happening today is, again, the masculine energy is now tapping into the feminine energy. And it's almost that the masculine energy needs to understand that you have such incredible power waiting for you to tap into because the feminine energy might be more powerful on a soul level at the moment with communicating with higher self and spirit. However, when the masculine taps in, the masculine is actually going to join the feminine this week, but then the, the masculine is able to take it to a completely different level. And it doesn't mean that the feminine is bobbing you out here, my friends. It just means that from now on, the masculine is going to be kind of in control, which I know a lot of feminine energies are probably listening going, oh, thank gosh, because I feel like I'm going to blow up, because I know I do. Oh, yes. I was just, when you said it, I'm like, thank God, thank God, thank God. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's time for you masculine energies to tap into this feminine energy and allow 
that I want to say it's coming through my head, that Zeus power, that they're waiting for you. And again, remember, if you're new to this journey and you're just tuning in now and you don't really know much, or maybe you do and, you know, you're not sure if you're a twin or, you know, you don't really know what's going on, don't worry about it. Just go with the flow of the energies and know that there's so many of us within the soul family that are awake, that are leading the way to help you get through this process. Because believe me, masculine energies, if you think you're powerful now, <laughs> you wait and see what happens by the end of this week. And at the end of the week, after we come out of the love cluster, I'm going ahead. But I just want to let you know that our clairvoyance abilities are going to kick in full swing as well. And again, going with our soul family, we have a ton of soul family members that are tapping into their mediumship. Like they're just popping out all over the place. Like I feel like we're a bunch of minions. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> Have you noticed that, Joy Wynn, how many people are tapping into their mediumship? Yeah, I, I think you see it a bit more, but I certainly, I can feel it just, it's almost like someone else pops in and I get up to another level and I'm, you know, hearing, seeing more, it just each time we just keep bobbing up. Yes. And with the masculine energy popping up, my friends, to another level, guess what? Our, our abilities are going to get even stronger. So, you know, remember, this is a DNA level where it's kind of like, easiest way they're telling me to explain this is like even though you and your beloved are one soul one energy you are in two different bodies or vessels and what's happening is those energies are merging at a, a warp speed and it's almost like you're creating a third energy which is a new energy meaning this is the the soul that remembers who you truly are this is all those soul memories that are going to start to come through you the wisdom and knowledge is going to start to kick into if you remember past lives, chances are if you're remembering past lives, it's going to be the wisdom and knowledge you learned in those past lives. I'm not getting that you're going to be going into past lives and deal with dark stuff unless you have a lineage energy that you need to deal with and you need to break free of that karmic energy. I would be, I'm getting that's the only reason why you would go into a dark past life memory is because you have to let that go to be able to move forward in this lifetime. Does that make sense to you, Joywin? It does. And it actually makes me think um, just of the, the past lives that I have remembered have mm -hmm. been the pertinent pieces um, that I need to focus on for this lifetime. Yes. And it really, they just give you what you need. And even as you were speaking, I was thinking, trying to explain the wisdom and knowledge that comes through, for me at least, it's never been I wake up and, you know, I'm obviously all of a sudden like an encyclopedia of information. <laughs> it's more like I download it and my self-confidence goes up another level. I can speak that much more clearly about something that I always kind of felt, but I maybe couldn't articulate. Yes. And that's how I really feel that that wisdom and knowledge sort of downloads into us. It just boosts us up. Yeah. We go to another level and we can speak to something that we maybe have always known, but we're shy about saying, or, and that's just how I feel it works for me. At yep. least. Absolutely. And um, there are times too, I'm sure you've experienced this is that you'll be out with somebody and you'll be having a conversation and all of a sudden your mouth is like verbal diarrhea. And you afterwards you're like going, Whoa, I can't believe I just said that. Where'd that come from? Hmm. Must be my higher self talking. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know, so <clears throat> excuse me. I just want you guys to realize that while you're going through this and the psychic abilities are kicking in stronger, again, if it doesn't matter where you are on your twin flame journey. It doesn't matter if you're brand new or you've been walking the talk for a very long time. It doesn't matter if you're with your beloved, you're not with your beloved, if your beloved's in spirit. It doesn't matter. We're all going through this. Those that have their beloved's in spirit do have a little bit of easier time right now because they're not dealing with two different egos. Their beloved is already in spirit. They're pure source energy. So if you are a twin that's listening to this, please take advantage of this soul rejuvenation process and really tap in and allow the two of you to become one in this physical body that you have because you have the ability to do this. It's not so easy for those whose beloveds are actually physically here. <laughs> totally different ball game, right? And <laughs> just know that, again, wherever you are at, it doesn't matter if you have 3D contact or if you don't. This journey is a sacred journey back to one. It's about you. It's not about the beloved. You need to live your reality and allow your beloved to live their reality. Because not everyone, like if it's on the vibe report, we refer to the waves simply. 
first wave are those that have been awake for a while. They were basically up. They've woken up and they were up, you know, until about February or March of this year. February, March this, this year, it's like the second wave kicked in. And the third wave's not going to kick in until next year. So the first and second waivers are really starting to tap into their abilities. So those are the first waivers. You wonder why your psychic abilities and your mediumship's kicking in full swing. It's because all these second waivers are waking up in the family and it's intensifying the energy. So the second waivers might tap into their abilities a lot quicker than those that were part of the first wave. Joy, yeah. have you noticed that your abilities over the last few months since the second wave has started to kick in, your abilities have kicked into full swing? Absolutely. The clarity that I now, like just being able to like, oh, this is what I'm actually doing. Like just, it, just in the last couple months, it's blown open. Yes. And the mediumship abilities, my friends, not everybody's meant to be like a, a talking medium is what I want to call them. There's so many new abilities that are going to kick in with this mediumship ability because this is something that we've all taught back in a city like we've all come from the lost city of atlantis we've all got these beautiful powers these healing abilities these psychic abilities mediumship but not everybody's using their mediumship the same way and i've been talking about this for a while because a lot of people don't want to get up and talk to spirits and my son's one of them i'll use him as an example but his mediumship has gone through the roof in the last couple of weeks but even though he has the ability to communicate with spirit and talk to other ones, loved ones on the other side, he's really zoning in on the trees and the plants. Mm. So if you are a twin, you will probably notice that your children are really starting to step into their psychic abilities as well. They too are going through this process. So I always say, look at your children. If it's a masculine child or a feminine child, you'll pick up on their energy. Use them as a mirror if they are the same energy as your beloved, know that by using that child is a mirror of what is happening with your beloved. You see this, Joy Wynn. I definitely do. Um, my son is a very clear mirror of what's going on with my beloved. Yes. And um, it's fascinating to watch. It's challenging, too, because sometimes the level of pain that my 8-year-old son is displaying is just, you know, it makes my heart ache for, you know, what my beloved's going through. But I have, you know, my Well, son- even the children. I mean, when my son starts, like he's 18 or 17, mm-hmm. almost 18, good old Leo, of course. So <laughs> he likes to roar, let me tell you. <laughs> so, but he's getting to a point now that he knows the wisdom and knowledge is coming through him so strongly through this cell rejuvenation process that he knows he's too wise. He's like, I'm too wise for my age. Mm-hmm. And he's getting to the point that I can't answer everything that he is asking me now because I don't have the answers. Mm-hmm. This is all new. Yeah. So... You know, during this time, if you're not with your beloved, even if you are with your beloved, please look after your children and your pets. You know, they're all being pulled into this because twins vibrate at a much higher frequency than the collective. And, you know, it's, I don't know why they're showing me to explain this to you. It's like the collective here, they all are down on planet Earth and we're the twins hanging out in the clouds. <laughs> it's a different vibration. But the trick of the twins, when you tap into your twin energy, you don't want to live up in the clouds. We don't live in cloud nine. We got to come down to 3D reality. Right. We're here. Yeah. You know, you have to train yourself to in, in this with the cell rejuvenation to be able to actually, you know, maneuver yourself through 3D energies in a 5D vibration. And it's not easy. No, it's really not. I, I mean, I, they let me hide out once in a while, but then they kick me right back into 3D land. And Yeah. And like think about the I, mean, I don't want to get into the, the darkness of the world because we all know it's there. But think yeah. about it. It's masculine energy coming out of people. Mm-hmm. So as our beloved the masculine energy starts to tap into the feminine. This is, you know, give them the love, feel the love with them. Let them know they are safe. It's okay for them to mm-hmm. let out all this. Like when my son turns into Godzilla, I just let him do his thing. I know that within a, you know, a couple of hours, he'll be fine. Mm-hmm. But you know, I know that if I'm seeing this coming out of my son, chances are my beloved's going through it too. And I'm not saying that he's out there speaking, 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 but he could be going through this internally. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where you will feel your beloved. And it's about filling it with love. When you feel that, don't try to control what they're going through. They have to experience this themselves. No, you very much so. I feel that you have to just allow, right? Allow yeah. them their journey. Allow them their freedom. That You know, unconditional love is freedom. So let them be and let them walk their path, but just send them the support. Yes, this is an energetic level, my friends. Okay, remember, you can't crawl into your beloved's mind and, and start talking to their 
their their psyche and the boys. Okay, you know what? You got to think this way. Well, they've already had a showdown. That's what happened over these last couple of weeks. You had a little bit of your beloved's, you know, weaknesses, and they had some of your weaknesses, and then you had your strengths, and they had their strengths, and they were flipping back and forth, strengths and weaknesses. But it was getting you ready for what we're going through now so that we can create that new energy that's now becoming between all of us. You know, we're making this third energy, which is new energy. We've been in 5D before with our beloveds, but we've never gone through the process to get to that. That's what's new, my friends, and none of us have gone through this. Well, it's been quite the ride the last couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and with the, again, with the boys coming out tomorrow with the full moon, you know, this is just spirit saying to you, keep in that love cluster, that bubble, that strength, that psychic ability. Go, go into 5D if you need to and feel that love and know that that will help you get through. Because I do believe what's going to take place tomorrow is more of a global energy. Something is going to take place. I just don't want to get into this. But something's going to take place, and it's going to cause a lot more fear on this planet. And guess what? Us, the twins, vibrating as high as we are, we got to get the vacuums on and start sucking this up. We are going to feel this. But it's how you encounter this. Do you allow yourself to get sucked back in? Or are you going to allow yourself to go with the flow and just roll in? to the following day where we're going to run into our love cluster which we'll talk about in the next commercial after the next commercial break so we'll be right back joy i'm sorry about that i kind of took over there that's all right <laughs> but uh when we get back we'll talk about the love cluster that's coming up we'll see okay. you all soon. free your mind with ohm times radio i ohm fm have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm the secret key is finding a love partnership not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Om Times Radio. When Dad needed help getting around, I became his driver. Soon enough, it was up to me to be his housekeeper and financial manager, too. When he moved in, I became his cook and even his nurse. But no matter what roles I play, I know I'm still his daughter. We understand the roles you play. So to help, we created aarp.org slash caregiving, where you can connect with experts and other caregivers. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Hello and welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where today I have Joy Lynn Clayton as my special guest. And we've been talking about this cell rejuvenation that is taking place right now between the twin flames here on Gaia. So before we start to jump into the love cluster, Joy, when is there anything you'd like to share about what we've just been talking about? Um, no, I, I think what really keeps coming up for me is just rem- reminding people to look back at all the tools that they've maybe learned over their journey, you know, wherever they are. Mm-hmm. And whatever those things are, so those, those affirmations, um, you know, salt baths, grounding techniques, go to the beach. It's just, even if you're not sure of what's going on, if you're new to this journey, just turning that love that you want to so desperately pass out to the world and pass to your beloved and just bring it back to yourself. Yes. Because this is so much the journey of learning to love ourselves fully and completely as we are. And so just, you know, having to bring that love back and bring that focus back to ourselves. And that's how we can really help Gaia um, Mm -hmm. go through these dark times. Yes. Absolutely. And if, if you're new to the show, go to www.carryturcott and um, roll over home and you'll see Viber sizes. And there's a ton of exercises there to help you along your journey. You don't need to be a twin a flame to do those exercises. Um, they're catered for everyone. And it's just to help you again, to help understand where the lower vibrations feed from and to really see the beautiful things that took place out of that really dark experience. Um, because, You know, twins, again, we're here to help Gaia, so we've all gone through extremely dark um, moments in our lives. Most of us have gone through serious abuse, 
And it's because, again, how can we possibly clear Gaia and help those on a collective level if we haven't experienced it ourselves? We just cannot. No, that's where we our compassion grows from each time we have, you know, emerged <laughs> unscathed for the most part from sort of those dark lessons, right? It, it just, our compassion just keeps blossoming more and more. And that's what enables us to help others and heal them. Yes. And think about it. You know, you and your beloved have got, I've both gone through crazy experiences, but why? It's because if you chose to come together in this lifetime, because not all twins are meant to come together and reunite in this lifetime, but if you are meant to reunite, and you'll know in the deep of your soul, my friends, don't go asking a million people, am I supposed to be with my beloved? That's, that's something that only you truly know in the deep of your soul. Okay, yeah. so you need to hold that within yourself. And if you're meant to reunite and come into union, it's because to help Gaia on an even grander scale, meaning that whatever you've learned and whatever your beloved learned, you come together as one and you merge and you use that wisdom and knowledge to help even more people on Gaia. And not everyone's supposed to do that. They're supposed to do solo missions. So, you know, it really depends on what your soul is telling you right now. If you don't really know, don't get caught up in this. Again, energy back to yourself. It's really about you. Because if you don't love yourself, how can your beloved love you? They cannot. No, it's so true, Carrie, what you're saying. That it's just, even if you're not sure, even if you don't know what, you know, the next day will bring, that's probably spirit saying it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You you need to focus right here, right now. How are you taking care of yourself? How are you loving yourself? And just baby steps one at a time. Yeah, and how many times is Mr. Depression coming out because you're going into the bath, and how many times is Mr. Anxiety showing up because you're going to the future? My friends, we, we have fun with the ego and his friends because we have to laugh about it because this is the way we've been programmed. We're supposed to live in the moment. We're not supposed to live in the past. It's happened. It's taken place. It's done. You're supposed to grab the beautiful gemstones and the golden nuggets and vibe on those because if you felt the feeling before, you can feel it again. That's what the whole exercise the condo my head's for. So you can get rid of the darkness and appreciate why you went through it so you can vibe your way back to one. You went through that experience for a reason, so use the beautiful moments to get where you're going, mm-hmm. right? And this yeah. is what this is about. It's like the love cluster that's coming up. The love cluster is from the 20th to the 23rd. And I'm telling you, friends, this is all about the love. This is like spirit saying, okay, you know what? Um, on Sunday, you opened up to the divine gateway. The feminine energy is in control. The masculine is tapping in now. The masculine is getting more in tune with who they truly are. The feminine is going with them. They're becoming stronger over this next week. And then we're going to allow you to battle Godzilla for like 24 hours. Let's see if you can handle them. Because if you can, guess what? You're going to be rewarded for four days after. That's going to th- flow love through your every cell of your body. Okay, this is a cell rejuvenation process. And the universe is saying, you can get through this. We're going to reward you with this beautiful love that's going to flow through every cell of your body. How beautiful is that? It sounds awesome. You know, and this is about us. This is about, my friends, you co-create your reality. So don't allow yourself to vibe on these beautiful vibes and assume how it's going to take place in 3D reality. That's the biggest mistake. Most people are say, well, in order for this to take place, I got to do this, 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 I got to do this. Stop it. You know, just vibe on something wonderful for about 20 seconds that you already have it in the moment and don't put too much detail to it because chances are it's not going to manifest that way anyways because it's not supposed to, but with you vibing on it that way, it's allowing you to co-create that which is really destined for your soul because you're still in the vibration of love. Mm-hmm. So let go of the expectations or assuming how this process is supposed to all end up at the end of the day. That's the ego trying to control you. And this, you know, this month we have to be patient as twins. You know, it's, we, we're going through this cell rejuvenation and then next week we're, we're going and tackling something different, which I'll talk about at the end of the show here. But then Pandora's box, which is a 5D Pandora's box, it's not what you guys think it is. Please don't assume what I'm talking about here. If you don't follow the vibe report or if you're not following me on um, Facebook or at the embassy of light and the vibe report page on Facebook as well. If this is a 5d Pandora's box, meaning you God and your beloved created magic in this box. And it's not like in the old 3d 
Pandora's box where they were impatient, which we're being told we have to be patient this month. But the darkness that's unleashed from the 3D Pandora box is what's circling the planet right now. And what was left in that box? Hope. Okay? But now when we're going into 5D, it's, I know. You need to shift that I know. I am worthy of this. Okay? So those are where the gemstones are coming in. And as you're going through this process, especially at the end of the week, when this love starts to come in, you might start to feel connections are saying right now, they're just telling me this now, this is new information, everyone, that you might tap into the love that you and your beloved shared during your lifetimes in Atlantis. Now, if you have not tapped into this love, let me let you know that the tears will be flowing. You will be overwhelmed with a feeling you've never experienced before. I've gone through this and I cried for four days. It was overwhelming. Joy, when have you kind of experienced this? love that just comes out of nowhere oh yeah no I've, I've gone through it a couple times but yeah the first time I just kept crying I didn't know I was crying then I got mad and I just kept crying more but then I was smiling I'm like this I'm psychotic now like this yeah. is just <laughs> and it's like I, I remember saying to my son and my mother I love you I really really do but the love I felt whoa nothing like the love here it's different mm-hmm. but with the energy shift you are going to be able to tap into this easier so now that the masculine is actually coming in and you know, intertwining even more with the feminine, that this love that the two of you shared will start to flow again through your body, through your DNA. But the universe is saying right now to me that, or sorry, the embassy, what we want to call them, that it's really important that you continue sharing the love. This is about you are a twin. You're here to vibrate love. And we need to light up this planet right now with all that's taking place. And... I mean, Joy, when I know that you are like a little beacon of light out there in the West Coast, you're out in uh, Vancouver, correct? Yeah, I'm on Vancouver Island. There you go. And I'm out here on the East Coast. So we're covering Canada. We're just kind of melting the energies together right now (laughs) in Canada. Um, So, you know, the importance of sharing the love. And I know, Joy, when this is something you do a lot as well. It is. It's. I I had to go through an interesting journey with it because as I was saying before, how we just, you know, I find as twins, we have a wellspring of love. You know, everyone does, but we just, we have such a desire to love the world, heal the world and put it out there. And when I first started my journey, I focused on that more than loving myself. Mm -hmm. You know, spirit had to kind of slow me down a bit and turn it around and say, no, you need to give some of this to yourself. But when I feel these love clusters coming, I just, Oh, makes me want to like burst like a starburst kind of like it's just I want to post and I want to smile and hug and just blast it out yes and it's really it's so easy you know just to come from that pure innocence of sharing joyfulness with people um, and seeing them smile and seeing them be lighthearted and you know finding that moment so it's it's a beautiful opportunity if you feel grounded enough to sort of take it on and just blast it out Oh, absolutely. And, and, you know, the Vi report, they, I was channeling the other day that they really wanted us to use our sacral chakra and, and allow the little kids to come out and play and play, 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 play during this time. Because this is going to get the creative life source energy moving, which is your sacral chakra. Mm-hmm. Right. So I know I've been out playing. I've gone to the drive in and done a few little things just to keep that inner child and carry going. Because there are times where, you know, you'll get blown with energy all of a sudden and you have to stop and say, is this my energy? Is this my beloved? Or is this actually a Gaia energy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's, it's getting it's difficult to distinguish between it sometimes. It is. I, I, I found sort of I can start like there's like a tone, which I can't really describe. And I'm like, oh, that's my beloved. And oh, that's collective. And sometimes, though, when I can't, I'm just like, well, the treatment's really the same. So <laughs> Exactly. Turn on the music, let's, you know, go for a walk, whatever it is I'm feeling, let's do some art, you know, just let's channel it, change the vibe, and that's what we're doing, right? Transmuting whatever it is into love. Yeah, and my friends, those that are new to this, just see yourself as a big giant hoover. You're a hoover machine that's going around and sucking up the dark. (laughs) And again, we're here on a mission, that's what the twins are here for, and the reason why in our soul flame it's so important that you focus on yourself, because... Again, you and your beloved made a decision a long time ago what was going to take place. So, again, the biggest thing we talk about in this family is allow your your beloved to live their own reality. And if you are one of these beloveds that is just tuning in and saying, okay, I know what she's talking about and I I feel like I'm one of these beloveds because I know my the person who claims that I'm their twin and stuff, they've got their stuff together. But you know that 
I don't even know where I was going with this. Spirit just jumped in my lap. <laughs> um, when, oh my goodness, sorry. Um, that this is a process that takes place. You can take, sorry, I know where I'm going with this. You can actually go through this you know, energy exchange, like what we're doing, it's an energy exchange. So you can do it in the comfort of your home, in your own reality, without having any physical contact with your beloved at all. And for those that are listening who don't know me, I I have no 3D soul contact with my beloved. I'm doing it all on my own here in, you know, Carrie land. But that's the way I signed up to have it done. But you can see that it's not stopping me from stepping forward and stepping into mission because here I am on the radio talking about this process and I am not with my beloved. So anybody who is listening and thinks that they need to be with their beloved to step in the mission, you know what? Please let that go. And if you, in the deep of your soul, thinks that's the way it works, then I think you might want to, you know, might not want to tune into vibration radio again. <laughs> I'm just being blunt because, you know, this is all about you. And if you're too concerned about your beloved and all your energy is going into your beloved, you're not going to get any further, my friend. Right, Joy Wynn? No, it's so true. You have to let them go. Yes. Just let them go, not meaning that you're surrendering, but just let it go for the moment, you know? And Yeah. Focus on the love that you have in 5D. That's always there. They're always with you. They're always one, always have been, and always will be. So when we get back to the commercial break, I'm going to be doing the weekly message and then we'll tie up with any last minute messages that we get from Spirit. All right. Soon. Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Om Times endeavor. Host your show with Om Times Radio Network. Dr. Kevin here, and I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on The Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today, so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. Hello, I'm John Lithgow. Manatees are unique among the most amazing animals on Earth, but they're endangered. We pose the greatest threat to their survival. Many manatees are killed or injured by boats or other recreational activities. I'm a writer of children's books, including one about manatees, and I believe education is the key. You can be part of the solution. Please contact Save the Manatee Club right now. Call 1-800-432-JOIN. Thank you. Hello, back. Hello, and welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where today my special guest is Joy Wynn Clayton. And uh, those that are new do know that this is the time where I do the weekly message where I tap into spirit, but do know that the message goes with whatever we've been talking about. So spirit really wants to put the emphasis on the masculine and feminine energy right now. They're letting me know that right now the masculine energy might still not be thinking You know, they might still be thinking, oh, my gosh, what's going on? I can't believe this is happening to me. Um, They might not be very logical about what's taking place. But do know this is a flip that's going to start to take place over this week where you want to see them as that strong, solid person, this person that can look after themselves and knows they're stepping into their power. Again, this is masculine energy. And what's going to happen as the feminine energy lights up, and relights the energy between. It's almost like an explosion that's going on at a cell level, which everybody will feel different, they're saying. You might feel a little tingly, you might feel a little like burst of energy, or you might physically feel like, you know, you're you're on fire. You might have a Kundalini awakening or a Kundalini rising. Um, but Spirit is saying there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than you realize. So even though the feminine is standing strong right now, that sacral chakra or that fun energy, that creative life source energy might not be as active as it should be. So feminine energies, please start working on that creative life source energy and stop worrying about what's going to take place. 
they are saying there's still a lot of worry connected to the female energy. I'm uh, sorry, the, the feminine energy. But they're also saying both twins right now might feel like they have to watch their back because there's a lot of repeated patterns that might be taking place as you go through this process. They do know that the repeated patterns are happening because they're trying to be released from your energy. So this is about you standing up into your power and knowing that you're going through a cell rejuvenation process that's going to start at a DNA level. And in order to clear the vessel, you have to release the dark. So do not allow other people to tell you what to do and do not allow the boys to say, oh, here we go again. Let's just go around this little merry-go-round a few more times. Kick them out and know and bring in that power. And between the masculine and the feminine, I'm also hearing if you are the feminine, really work on that solid strongness because you've already got that in place and that's the energy that the masculine needs right now to get through this process. If you are the masculine energy, please allow the feminine energy to have a little bit more creative life source energy. So you might find that you're more like creative and dancing and off the charts and having a wonderful life. Start to allow a little bit of this energy to come back to the feminine energy so you guys can balance out and move on as a powerhouse. And it's either together or solo. Remember, if they're not in your reality right now, if you're meant to come into you know connection with one another, the universe will make it happen. So don't sweat it. Remember, twins, you know, we've been waiting 13,000 years. What's another six months, a year, whatever? I know it's in the, in the deep of the soul. It's really hard to, you know, think, oh, my gosh, another six months or a year. But in the bigger picture, you know, like think about it. Once you merge and you reunite with your beloved, you're, you're with them for the rest of eternity. So allow them to live their life and allow, you know, both of you to have the clearest vessel possible because the clearer the vessel, the more blissful the union will be when it takes place. So there you go. How's that wrap? Wow. They really yes. took over me there. <laughs> did that make sense, Joywin? It totally did. And it was, I had sort of tuned in a bit and sort of asked what the messaging was. And it was very much just around try and find the peace within yourself for masculine or feminine, just in cleaning up your reality a bit. Yes. You know, just focus on your own world, you know, whether it's like as much as just doing the dishes and getting the laundry done or up to, you know, pushing some of those perhaps old patterns out of your lives, whether that's people, work, whatever it is, just clean it up and find the peace of freeing yourself. Yes, uh, remember, July is all about patience. Uh-huh. You know, we, you know, we're only at the, uh, today's the 18th. So we still got a ways away before August caps in. And I have to say in the history of me doing the vibe report, this is the first time I've never been able to tap into the following month. And for those that are listening, I know there's a lot of vibe report subscribers listening to this and a lot of soul family members do you want to know why spirit will not give me the message? Because they're saying if I tap into August now, the message that I will get now is really not what our soul family wants to hear. So they're going to wait for us to go through this cell rejuvenation process and come out of the love cluster at the other end. And they said, I'll be able to tap in next Sunday. So, you know, this has never happened. I usually can get months, months, months in advance. And they got me down to less than a week. <laughs> So please, soul family, really vibe the love because I am feeling August is going to be wonderful, but the fact that they're not allowing me to get the information yet boggles my mind. So that means the soul family is kind of tear-tottering right now. And remember, we do this as a soul family. So if you have a, a, a rough moment, chances are somebody in the family is having a great moment so that we're keeping the vibrations equal, right? You and your beloved have your own frequency. No one else has that same frequency. You're the only two in the universe that has that frequency, but you are in the the frequency of the soul family. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. And I think, I mean, where I heard you going with that as well is even though we're teeter-tottering, you know, do the work to, to get the soul family up there so we yeah. can have a great August. <laughs> like, look how many, like I said, look how many Tweetios are popping up all over the place. Mm-hmm. You know, like, the next thing you know, there we have, like, people have energy balls shooting out of their hand and say, hey, have you seen this new talk that I got? <laughs> 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 so... You know, you're tapping into all of this and it's all very new. Just take a deep breath, okay? And know that spirit is your friend. You know, that's in, and you have to, how do I want to say this? Spirit hangs out in 5D land. And where do you go when you hang out with your beloved? 5D. So you wonder why you're tapping into this mediumship a little bit more? This is why, okay? So, like, when we go to the embassy, 
we can see loved ones that are physically here as well as those on the other side. It's kind of cool when you meditate and you go to the embassy because an embassy is a place. We all live there with our beloveds. It's another dimension. We just have the ability to, like right now, that's what the family's doing. We're tapping into the embassy that's in another dimension. It lives in, it's in the fifth dimension. It's really there. And Joy Wing can, you know, attend to this. Like, you've been there a few times, sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got my favorite little spot there. I hang out. (laughs) (laughs) You know, so it's. And, and unless you're a twin, you don't really understand what it is that we do. Because a lot of people look at us and say, oh, you guys live in fairyland. Far from it. We're not foo-foo people. Yes, our vibrations of where we want to be is foo-foo, if what, that's what you want to call it. But in, in Disneyland, you know, magic. However, we have to get there. <laughs> yeah, <we do. laughs> so, you know, as we're going through the cell rejuvenation this week, You know, if you feel like you can't control it, go and take a bath or walk down to the lake or go for a walk and hug a tree or go play with the kids. Just do something to, again, just let it go. And if, like, my son and I, I think we're going to go to uh, the amusement park soon because I think I need to go on a roller coaster and just scream. Just to let it out, just to feel a good scream kind of out of me Mm -hmm. and let it all out. And guess what? I'm not going to look any different. I'm going to be on a roller coaster full of people screaming their heads off. (laughs) (laughs) You know, so I'm usually the one laughing when we go down. But so is there anything else you want to add, um, Joy, before I start talking about what's coming up? Um, I think the only message, other message I'm kind of hearing is just, you know, through all of this, remember that you and your twin are a team. Yes. And, you know, nagging on your teammate doesn't ever really get anything done. It just Mm -hmm. clogs up the work. So the more that you can support them and love them, whether they're in spirit, you're in 3D, contact, no contact, just allow and how can I support you, you know? Yeah. Like, we're doing this together, we're on a a mission together, you know, and, um, you know, just send them that support rather than um, maybe focusing on more of those, the boys, the things that the boys trigger, just say, nope, he's my, he's my, she's my whatever teammate and I support them no matter what. Yes, absolutely. Like, talk to them like you want to be talked to yourself. How do you want your beloved to talk to you if you come into 3D contact? This Mm -hmm. is how you need to talk to your beloved instead of knocking them down every two seconds. This is too often seen out there in social social media. Remember, if you're putting your beloved down, you're like, oh, I know they're going to block me or blah, 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 blah. Guess what? When they block you the next day, you know, turn around and slap yourself in the face and say, I did this to myself. I see it all too often. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I can hear Bradley right now. Come on, let's just talk dirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside thing for those that follow the Vibe Report. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, do you know that we've got until the end of July. And next week I'm going to have um, another soul sam- family member, Amy Hollywood, which I know a lot of you know because she's been on a few times. And we're going to basically help you guys prepare during the last week before the 5D Pandora's box opens up on July 31st. Now, remember, don't assume what's in that box, my friend. Okay? It's something that you created with your beloved in God a long time ago. You must focus on the vibrations of love that you have in those golden nuggets and gems and allow the universe to co-create it. Do not assume or expect what's going to come out of that box. Very, very important. And if you are new to this journey um, or you're new to Vibe Nation Radio, I actually also did a video that was two hours long called Shifting into the 5D Matrix that I did with another soul sister, Marla Kelly, who is an intuitive astrologer, and she has Twin Astrology on Facebook. If you go to my website, again, you can go to the Vibe Nation, sorry, um, the Vibe Report, allow it to drop down, and you'll see the, the Vibe Report and five, Shifting into the 5D Matrix. It's actually on sale now for $5.99. It's a two-hour video, and it also has a 30-minute guided meditation that I channeled to help you shift into the 5D matrix. Did you actually... Um, I, I did. Sorry? I, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I did. I, I mean, the resources that you and Marla put out, I think, are just fantastic. I usually take notes, and I just you know check back in at the end of the day or sort of... I use it as a tool, right? Just be yeah. like, okay... That's what's going on today. I can prepare myself and, you know, let's go tackle 3D land or whatever it is. But Absolutely. And that's what the Vibe Report is for, my friends. It, it's, I'm a channel 
and all I'm basically doing is allowing the channel to give us all information to help navigate us through these new energies of Earth as a twin flame. Because we are on a sacred journey back to one, and we must embrace this, because it starts with you. That's the biggest thing you need to remember. Allow your beloved to live their reality. And if the two of you are meant to come together in 3D reality, it will take place. It really will. So, you know, stay strong during the cell rejuvenation. Know that, you know, the boys come out. Just embrace them, knowing that that love cluster is coming at the end of the week. And remember, who you are right now is not who you're going to be at the end of the week. And don't be surprised if your psychic abilities kick in or your clairvoyancy or your mediumship. Do not fear them. Embrace them. Oh, yeah. Have fun with it. (laughs) (laughs) As Joy wins, learn to know. You know what? Being a medium is very cool, but we all have different abilities to use the mediumship in very different ways. Continue sharing the love this week and know that I'll be back next week on Vibe Nation Radio. Take care. Thanks again, Joy, when I appreciate it. Thank you, Carrie. Have a wonderful week, my friends. And remember, stay strong. This is all about you and the love that we're bringing here to Gaia. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.